Hopefully, uh, my uh, topic is not too controversial. As we all know, uh, electricity is vital for modern society. Nowadays, we still heavily rely on burning fossil fuels, such as coal and gas, to generate electricity. This pie chart gives us a good summary of the resources we use in Australia to generate electricity. As we can see, the majority of Australian electricity is generated by using black coal, brown coal, and gas. Just to give you one example, one of the Australian largest power plant, Luoyang Power Station in La Trobe Valley in Victoria, consumes 60,000 tons of brown coal every day. Burning fossil fuels create or produce large amount of CO2 gas along with pollution, which is not very good for the environment. And also, the resources for fossil fuel is limited. And all the fossil fuel reserves on the Earth will be exhausted in the foreseeable future. So how about the solution for future electricity generation? And solar, tide, and wind, we can use all these resources to generate electricity. But they cannot provide, or extremely difficult to provide baseload electricity. Then how about nuclear? The nuclear, conventional fission nuclear power station is capable of providing baseload electricity, such as in France, Hong Kong, and in uh, uh, Sweden. Conventional, uh, fusion, uh, fission, conventional fission power, nuclear power station quite often use uh, uranium as a, uh, uh, as a fuel, very expensive. Under the neutron bombardment, one, uh, neut one uranium item split it into two small items and then at the same time, releases a large amount of energy. The disadvantage of conventional fission nuclear re reactors is produces large amount of nuclear waste, which will remain radioactive for tens of thousands of years, and very, very expensive and complex to immobilize them. At the same time, it's very, very difficult to find a safe place to store them in tens of thousands of years. Our Earth is a dynamic system. All the continents are constantly moving. 5,000 years ago, English Channel doesn't exist. So that's why we don't have any safe place for nuclear repository. Another disadvantage is the nuclear fuel itself and also the byproduct from the uh, nuclear reactor can be used to uh, produce nuclear bombs. And we don't need any more nuclear heads in, uh, on our Earth. On the other side, how about a fusion nuclear reactor? The typical example is our sun. Our sun is a giant fusion nuclear reactor. In the sun, two uh, hydrogen items fuse together and form heavier element helium at the same time emit a huge amount of energy. Let's look at the condition of the sun. At the core of the, uh, at the, core of the, uh, of the sun, the pressure is around 260 billion atmosphere, and the temperature is 15 million degrees Celsius. And combine this, it creates a perfect condition for fusion nuclear reaction. How can we create that condition on Earth? It would be almost impossible to create that pressure on Earth, but we can, pro we can produce high temperature environment. If we, produce a, uh, if we produce hydrogen plasma and speed them up, and we can heat the hydrogen plasma to hundreds of million degrees C, and then the uh, uh, fusion nuclear reaction can occur. But no materials can die at millions of degrees C temperature. We can build this diagram. It's a schematic diagram shows the, uh, uh, the future fusion nuclear reactor. We build a strong magnetic, 
field to confine the high temperature plasma. Allow the nuclear reaction to occur, but without touching the nuclear reactor. Even so, the first wall of the nuclear reactor still facing very extreme condition. High temperature, few hundred degrees C, and also high fluxes of particle bombardment, such as neutron and alpha particles. The materials we're developing at the moment is called ODS materials, as oxide dispersion strengthened materials. And this photo shows the, this photo was captured by electron microscopy. And as we can see, on the matrix of these materials, there are a large amount of very small oxide particles that are in the size of nanometers. This kind of materials has excellent high temperature performance and also very, very good radiation damage resistance. When we design the materials, the element, the alloy elements we select has a very low activation. That means after under the neutron bombardment, these kind of materials won't get won't be get radioactive uh, during the service. The question is: When we build a nuclear nuclear reactor, the the main method we use is the welding, welding all the components together. How can we weld the ODS materials? If we use conventional welding method, such as TIG and MIG, or even laser electron beam, and that small particles won't survive, won't survive in the remounting process. The, we, now we must consider the different welding methodology. The methodology we're investigating at the moment, we call the solid state welding method. We join the materials without melting them. The first method we uh, investigating is the diffusion bonding. Put the two materials together in the vacuum, heat them up, apply pressure. Due to the diffusion of items across the interface, and then uh, we can produce a beautiful defect-free joints. This is the welded joint. You can hardly see any joint lines. Another methodology we're investigating at the moment is called the friction stir welding method. We put two materials together again, and the, uh, the spinning of this spindle produces friction and generate heat, soften the material. The stir of this pin in front of it will mix the, mater will mix the materials in the molecular level, and two pieces become one. As you can see, with this method, we also can generate very, very nice drawings. <laughs> yeah. So what's the future? The future will be we're going to size the long-term high temperature performance of these materials and along with the uh, water drawings. And we're going to size the radiation damage resistance of these materials. Hopefully, if everything goes okay, everything goes right, the first commercial nu fusion nuclear reactor will come in operation in 2050. Thank you very much. <laughs>